Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna give you like a um, kind of a, like a walkthrough um, if you want to kind of export out um, <clears throat> your 3D assets from Blender into Apple Xcode. Um, because recently, um, Apple at WWDC 2017 they introduced this AR kit for to make us like uh, easily to to export augmented reality experience and turn it into an app and so I thought maybe um, I'll start a series of tutorial just talking about uh, how you can easily export the AR experience from your 3D assets into Xcode and then turn it into an app on your device so in order to do this you need to at least have like a maybe um, the latest iPhone 7 7 7 plus is actually the best one to use right now the latest ipad ipad pro will actually work um, so i'll be using my iphone for now to to do the demo and stuff but and you also need to have like a macbook pro in order to do this but if you have like a macbook pro or a mac uh, any kind of mac machine uh, running like high uh, high sierra and then you can install uh, xcode 9 um, this is Xcode. I'll show you how uh, everything works later. Uh, you can basically create an app for yourself. Uh, um, you can also publish it on the App Store and then sell it, but that's going to be like a different step. But if you want to make an app that, that you use yourself, it's actually uh, pretty easy to do. I'll show it to you uh, right now. So we have Blender open right here. And I'll just have a Suzanne head for now. Just very, very basics and I don't know I'll should use modifier or not but I'll just save this as uh, BS monkey and perhaps I'll create a little bit of animation as well uh, so it's gonna randomly rotate it position the monkey head keyframe here and keyframe it at around frame 100 so it's gonna be like 100 frame gonna rotate Suzanne I don't know maybe I just move it here as well so it's pretty random I'm tapping uh, I oops so moving Suzanne and rotate it and I I and one more so random position and random rotations you can do this using animation nodes as well but anyway this is I'll gonna manually do it for now so so now we are done with this and in order to make this to work inside Xcode is that um, at the moment Xcode will actually take um, Collada DAE this, this, this one right here and that's actually recommended um, it, it will be nice if uh, Blender can actually export as SCN kit or SCN format that uh, Xcode actually takes uh, like a natively. But for now, Collada DAE is actually the best for us. Alembic will work as well, but I think there's still limitation for if you want to make it to work with iOS device. It's not like fully supported. For now, it's Collada. Collada is the best and. It has limitation, uh, limitation of course, but then it will generally will work with a uh, transform animations, uh, bone animations. It doesn't work with vertex. It works with uh, Blender shape keys. Maybe one day I'll give you a demo as well. For now, it's just a transform um, animation. So you don't need to apply modifier uh, selection only. Yes, UV and everything else. Triangulate. Maybe I turn it off. So I'm just gonna export it as bsmonkey.dae export collada. So one object exported. So now I'll turn off. I'm just gonna turn off uh, Blender and I'm gonna switch to Xcode app. So Xcode app is definitely if you want to make an app for for Apple device, you need to download Xcode and then you need to have a like an Apple account. The free one allows you to create an app just for yourself, and you can actually play around with the 
Swift Playground as well. Really cool uh, <clears throat> programming language, Swift, very fun. It's, it's almost like Python, but it's a little bit more uh, functional and reactive. And you can also start to learn about uh, interactions like using button and slider, etc. Anyway, Xcode is what you need if you want to you make an app for iPhone, iPad, or like Mac OS app. So I'll start with um, create a new Xcode project and we're gonna create um, the AR experience. So I will be using just a template for now. So this, um, there's all these options over here. For now, just iOS. We're gonna make the app for iPhone and it's gonna be augmented reality app and everything else we don't need to worry about. This is gonna be like a, the simplest uh, where you can export out 3D from Blender into an app. So you need to fill up all this. Um, you, you will have your own like uh, account, the name uh, and your own name, etc. For now, it's just gonna be a uh, monkey. I'll call it. I'll call the app monkey. And I'm gonna save this. And. It seems like it just a uh, crisis for unknown reason. But anyway, I'll try again. So Xcode, we're gonna use the AR template. So file actually create new Xcode project. AR monkey next. Create. Hopefully, it doesn't crash this time. Um, so you have all these options uh, in relation to your app, all your app informations, how it's gonna be bundled and built. Uh, we don't need to worry about all those. Um, I'm just gonna probably talk a little bit. Uh, we're gonna export the app so that it works for actual device. So I have this iPhone 7 Plus and here we have like a, only a couple of files. Uh, this is like the minimum requirement if you want to create an AR app. So by default, Apple actually provide you with this uh, ship.scn so this is SCN and this is uh, the file format, 3D file format um, for 3D assets that's native to um, Xcode. And this is actually really, really handy. It's almost, uh, it's almost like Unity in a way and you can kind of very familiar with it uh, right away. You can like uh, with this uh, property, uh, what do they call it, uh, utilities. You can check out the 3D. I'm using, I'm holding Alt and then kind of dragging, uh, using scrolling and then Alt and left mu left mouse button uh, allows you to. Uh, never mind. This is the Apple uh, default 3D assets. We're gonna bring Suzanne into this guy. You can bring in like a light and place it here, and then so you you can see. It's very similar to Blender or maybe Unity or Unreal. I think it's more like Unity. Uh, anyway, this uh, should give you like a, a nice starting point and you, you will be familiar with it uh, right away. Like I said, it, it will be nice if uh, if at some point Blender has uh, export as scene kit. It's actually, I think it's not, not impossible. Uh, it's actually very pretty, fairly easy and straightforward to export from Blender into SceneKit, like uh, this kind of uh, file format. But so I'll I'm just gonna delete this uh, really quick. Um, I'll just leave it for now. I will bring the the monkey head into this guy. So what did I save it uh, just now? PS monkey. Um, I have PS Monkey here and did I export it out? 
SDAE edit let me check real quick go to the desktop so vsmonkey.tae this guy if uh, if you right click um, actually if you tap spacebar in uh, in Mac it will show you the 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 3d asset inside it so it, if it's working that's a good sign you can also open it with a uh, Xcode um, what I recommend you um, you can usually you can drag this inside uh, inside this blue folder um, this folder actually if you open it in the show it in finder it's actually like a folder with a SCN assets um, as a format as a file format so that's actually really important if you whatever you put in here should work uh, properly better if you just drag and drop from the desktop sometimes it does it it put it here but uh, the object itself it's a uh, still placed on the desktop the original is still on the desktop that's not a that's not actually a good thing um, it's better if you place the monkey DA here and just simply place it inside this folder so I'm gonna actually gonna do that and file yeah I think it's supposed to be working now uh, you might see something really quick that this DA currently is facing uh, the wrong way so that's the thing um, because Blender Y up and Xcode Y up is actually in the wrong orientation sometimes you, you actually get this the monkey head is not oriented properly um, that's a common thing see that the, anim the animation actually still work if I bring in the light and play back the animations so we can see the Colada DAE is actually working so that's a good good sign in order if you want to just uh, really quickly look at the result in a, as an AR you just need to go to fieldcontroller.swift and you get this code and you just need to replace the ship.scn which is the original uh, the default 3D object uh, just replace it with uh, whatever file name you, you have here so it, at the moment we have this bsmonkey.da and so yeah, I think that's that will actually work and if we actually click on this button it will build it and run it on a uh, on the iPhone you cannot um, <clears throat> you can you you cannot use one of these simulation it's not gonna work in order for me to show it to you um, I'll probably I'll run it right now um, and see if it's already working I, I hit this button and then it's building the monkey app into my iPhone so this is gonna be this the most basic one it simply just uh, open an app and then it will place the 3d objects uh, relative to the, the camera of your iPhone and it you will see the 3d objects in front of your iPhone and you just can't do anything else it will just uh, display the 3d objects but you can go around the objects um, in like a real life kind of a background with real life um, but probably um, in order for you like uh, to interact with the 3d objects like placing the 3d objects on the floor or things like that or maybe kind of if you want to tap on the screen and want to see the 3d objects being spawned you need to type a little bit of codes um, eventually maybe that's gonna be the next uh, tutorial so it says the device is locked I will unlock it okay I unlocked it and reattached. Okay, I did it. 
just wait a few seconds Okay, I'll just cancel it and try it again. <clears throat> so with the DAE right here, there is a there's like a few options that actually let you control the Y up axis but uh, normally um, the way I do it is that I simply no I normally convert this DAE into scene kit it's uh, a lot easier to work with um, so this uh, DAE preview inside Xcode is actually pretty cool uh, you can do a lot you can bring in light and then play with the materials and all that but I normally will actually just convert it into scene kit so convert into apple scene kit and i will just make like a duplicate so we, we have the original ps monkey and then this is going to be the scene kit file so now that this is like a proper um, apple scene kit um format we can now kind of do like rotations and we can bring in like uh, empty nodes and then this is normally what i'll do like i will rotate it um like 90 degrees so i'll call this just rotate i'm gonna put suzanne under that node and i will rotate this like minus 90 to fix the orientation problem so now it should be correct although I might need to turn off this uh, always use Y up axis but I think I can just leave it like so Okay, orientation problem is uh, a little bit annoying. Anyhow, uh, with the monkey head here, inside scene kit, you can actually uh, play around with the material. And with scene kit, Apple actually provides you two ways. Um, there's like um, PBR materials and uh, like a normal blend foam, like a traditional materials. So there's constant, Lambert, blend foam, and physically based. Blin and Fong, they're all like pretty familiar. You can easily change the color and things like that. You can do it here inside the property editor. I think this is um, very useful for for artists usually. You get a lot of options, including the cool one like a Fresnel and and uh, reflections, things like that. And you can even like uh, subdivide the geometry on the fly if you turn it on here um, subdivision level sometimes it works sometimes it crashes uh, because currently I'm still using Xcode beta anyhow with a uh, blend everything you can get like really quite nice realistic but physically based is probably what you want to use you have this uh, the usual diffuse metalness roughness similar to blender so with this guy you can really uh, tweak and get a uh, physically based to work it doesn't have it doesn't work with uh, I mean it doesn't have like a glass material yet so it doesn't give you like refraction kind of effects no sub surface scattering and all this funky stuff but if you want to make like a metal uh, reflective metal uh, it's pretty easy to do 
make it metallic or dialectic like a uh, plastic that will work um, and then you need all you need to do is just to bring in like a uh, environment uh, procedural sky or like a uh, your own um, like a like a what is it the uh, 360 environment um, texture but anyway I think the procedural sky out working really well and I'm gonna save this and restart Xcode and then we'll pass pass it into my iPhone and then it should work I think just now it's just a bit frozen My Mac is actually relative old, uh, relatively old. It's a uh, it's running Mac OS High Sierra. Everything is better. Xcode is also better. Um, let's open the Monkey app. Very old graphic card here. This is a uh, mid two thousand ten MacBook Pro seven years old pretty much okay back to this guy let's try again try again so what I want to show really is just like the AR kit um, is actually very very easy uh, make it very easy for an artist if you are using blender you, and you have Mac and you have iPhone you can easily make this uh, like your own app that show you this. Um, it keeps saying that my iPhone 7 is busy. Probably gonna restart my iPhone. At some point, I think the Sketchfab Sketchfab app will make it uh, will actually work with a. Uh, this AR kit as well maybe it won't be long uh, maybe next month or so so I'll try again debug clean I'm gonna replace this with a SCN Oh, okay. Yeah, like I said earlier, Sketchfab, you know, Sketchfab um, surface where you can upload blend files online and that that app will eventually work with ARKit. So it's, it's going to be like super easy for you to create like a 3D asset inside Blender, save it as blend and then upload it into Sketchfab and then you can quickly use the Sketchfab app and display the 3D objects in, in real life. <clears throat> so... But if you want to make your own app, it's actually pretty easy as well. Not not that hard. All interface orientation must be supported. Okay, cool. I think someone plus is busy debugging. Okay, something about orientations and requiring full screen. Okay. Try again. Can we we can delete the shape and the texture actually? I put some about busy.
interesting. I will restart my iPhone and test this out on my iPad. The whole process actually takes like around five minutes if I do it like really fast and everything smooth. This one, it's kind of uh, still processing. I think okay, device is locked. Unlock your device. Reattach. Okay, it says I'm gonna try again on the iPhone 7 Plus maybe the better this Xcode version has a little bit of bug because I just updated it um, a few days ago you will succeed it running the monkey on blender sushi iPhone iPhone 7 plus is busy uh, probably I need to update this but anyway I think the app should actually work and like I said it's actually pretty easy to create this uh, to make the AR to work but if you want to add some kind of interactivity you you need to start look into some Swift code um, kind of tell the app to to place the 3d objects in a certain feature points or anchor it into the floor of uh, real world things like that a uh, little bit more tricky but other than that, uh, this should actually work. So I'll stop it right here and yeah, thanks again for